We're spending the afternoon in the CI Kitchen with U of I Extension educator Leia Ketta. Yeah, we're reducing the fat and calories in chicken tenders without reducing the taste, which right. is a trick. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so that's what makes it so delicious. Yeah, we want it to be delicious and healthy at the same time. Right. Okay, that's always my goal when I come visit you guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what so. kind of chicken did we pick? I forget. Okay. Did we so talk about to that? refresh your memory, yeah, we just did some regular old boneless, skinless chicken breast. Okay. Okay. And what I did is I actually um, cut these up into little strips here. You can also do like the um, pre-cut chicken tenderloins. But it's probably cheaper to do it this it's, way. Yes, it is cheaper to do it this way. And we're all about saving money too. So um, you get about 10 of these from a pound of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And remember our uh, buttermilk-like mixture, which was just some non-fat milk and some vinegar added to kind of cause it to curdle a little bit. And you need to probably let that sit for a while yeah. to do its job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll sit for about 10 minutes to get it to curdle. Mm. And then we mix it together with, um, I've got some mustard in here, some honey for a little bit of sweetness, some black pepper, and a little bit more vinegar. Okay, and interestingly enough, instead of the honey, you could actually try doing jam. Okay, oh. so actually, maybe you weren't too far off with the Frosted Flakes idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm figuring it could yeah. add a little yeah. pop yeah, of A sweet. little bit of sweet and salty sweet. and tart actually works really, really well. How about a taste of tart? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, from that vinegar. <laughs> so ideally, what you can do is let the chicken um, just sit in this mixture for up to 20 minutes. Okay, and that'll help to tenderize it because we've got that acid in there working on it. But... Um, you make, you know, that you doesn't sound time. appetizing when you say, okay, we're going to put this chicken in the acid now. I know, it doesn't sound <laughs> Julia Child sound would not nice. say that later. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm, I'm being teasing. food science-y for you. <laughs> That's, That's true. That's how this works. It's, some, it's like a marinade, and most marinades have some acid to actually tenderize and start hmm. breaking down the protein. Well, and this is really good, too, because not only are you adding the taste that you might lose through other sources, but right. it's also relatively cheap, right? I mean, yes. comparatively, what are, what are we looking at in terms of cost for okay. this? Okay, for this, for this recipe, a serving is about two chicken strips, okay. and it's about 55 cents per person. Wow. Okay, it serves five. Wow, right, that is We have good. ten. Um, and that's, you know, that's really cheap to get your protein. So compare that to if you go out to a restaurant... And how much is it for chicken tenders? Mm -hmm. That's usually, it's probably four times that cost at least. Yeah. Okay, so what we do is we just, once that's done, sitting in our little marinade type thing, and also it helps to uh, get the cereal to stick, mm -hmm. we just roll it in the cereal and put it out on this baking sheet that's been sprayed with a uh, nonstick spray. I feel like the other nice part about this too is it's gonna add a crunch. And kids like mm. crunch, they like things that mm -hmm. that that respond, right? It's Absolutely. like an engagement of the senses. That's fun, yeah. And you also get that from the dipping sauce part as well. And they kind of get to choose what they like. And um, you'll notice here that we've got some different size pieces um, on the crushed cereal. So I like to leave them a little bit more coarsely crushed, okay, so we have bigger pieces to get more crunch. Mm. If you like, you can actually just grind them up in a food processor or use a mallet, get out some frustration and mm. put them in a plastic bag. <laughs> Get them really fine if you like that. But it's a way to get your husband involved if the, the wife's cooking there the dinner. Honey, go. take these out and yeah. pulverize. I like that. I'm all about getting the family involved. Now you've got the oven preheated. Yes, 400 degrees. Remember, I said it's going to be a hot oven, and it's going to take about 20 minutes. That's that's all. 20 minutes till these are ready. And then we will serve them hot right out of the oven, and they will be all crisp and delicious. Yeah, now if you use a bigger piece of um, chicken, you may mm -hmm. need to cook it a lo little longer. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it, because these have been cut up into thin strips, um, it's going to help with the cooking time. It's going to cut down sure. on that significantly. If you use those thick chicken breasts, yeah, it's probably going to take quite a bit longer. Okay, well, we're going to let you finish coating, pop right. them in the oven, and then we'll check back in on them a little bit later towards the end of the show, and we have the recipe posted um, at CLiving.tv after the show mm -hmm. as well. All right, lots coming up for you today. Delish. It is going to be delicious. <laughs> we're going to have to...